little sideways, yeah, maybe. I don't know how long it'll take me, but I'll do my best. You be my soft and sweet, I'll be your strong and steady. Honey. Wonderful, wonderful honey. This is from the other side of that mountain right there, or mountain, listen at me, that hill right there. This was spun up yesterday. I like honey. I like it for a lot of reasons. I like it in a lot of things. What I like most about it is this was from around three miles of the hive that it was taken from. Collected by someone just like you and me <laughs> and his family. They put it in jars. They put my name on it. <laughs> and I can serve this to my family and know that the pollen and the things the bees collected to, to produce this honey was very near my house. So the allergens that are around are going to be the same things that my kids are allergic to or the, are used, that are used to. Because I believe that eating local honey helps ease allergy symptoms. And I say that because I've seen it work in my daughter's life. She went from terrible, terrible allergies to, uh, to not, not as bad. Obviously, visibly not as bad. And I think that local honey did it. Now, I'm not ready to have beehives. Um, but fortunately, those people around me, I have two people, one in my close circle and one in my, in my fairly close circle of beekeepers. And so, like today, I bought 10 of these jars. 10 of them. I got nine that were just honey and one that had honeycomb. Now, I've shared them already. I think there is three left in the back and then this one. So, I have four left. Um, at my house, this won't last my daughter. She, this won't last her three months. And it, when it gets colder and she starts drinking tea more, it'll go even faster. Honey is a wonderful thing. Honey is a food that if you keep it clean, it will store forever. I've heard tales of when they opened the Egyptian tombs, there was honey that was honey. I've had honey for a long time that old timers have just taken off the shelf and it would crystallized and they just heated it in a pot of water and then poured it out as honey. It doesn't need preservatives. It doesn't need fancy storage containers. That's it. Do you guys like honey? What do you use honey for? So, in case you haven't noticed, in the last few videos, I've been fishing for more feedback from you guys because I need to learn. I need more. I need, I need more information. And you guys are some of the smartest people I know. The smartest people I have access to. The people that do the research, that know the things. And so that's why I pull you. That's why I make... A video and I'm like hey tell me what you think in the comments below because it does matter there is no subject anywhere that I can that there is that I know very much at all because I don't I know a little bit about some things and I know a lot of things that I don't really know I, I mean you know what I'm saying that there are a lot of things that I don't know, that I want to know. The benefits of honey is one of them. What do you use it for? 
Do you use it in recipes? Do you use it in your tea? Do you use it in your coffee? Uh, do you take a tablespoon of it every day? What, uh, what do you do with your honey? I mean, for me, personally, my favorite thing to do with honey is to mix it with peanut butter. In the jar of peanut butter, stir it up, let it be. Because I remember that as a kid from school. And I enjoyed it. And I still enjoy it. I just don't eat it as much as I used to. Um, and I'm playing with the light in the jar of honey. So this isn't the clearest jar of honey. Uh, and that's okay. Because this is really flavorful stuff. I wish I could just pop the top and go, hey, look in there. Taste that. Uh, oh, dang it. Mm, I hate that. I got some on my finger. It doesn't have to be good, pure, the pure see-through honey for me. The beeswax is another thing that I have access to. And they don't usually do that. They usually just ball it up and throw it away. Because they're small time, small, listen, small time is the wrong phrase. They're a small family of beekeepers. And molding the wax and doing something with it takes several more steps. And so they don't do that. Um, they're going to save some for me. And I use it to put on my boots, to put on my backpack sometimes. For sure, if I have a stubborn zipper, I put beeswax on it. You can make candles out of it. You can use it for all kinds of things. So I like the beeswax almost as much as the honey. Bees are wonderful. I wish, I say this, I can't wait until I'm in a position that I think bees are next. Right now it's canning, pressure canning. Um, you know, and then radios. I'm still studying for my radio test. So those are the things that I'm doing to continue my preparations, to continue gaining my knowledge. And so bees will be after that. Maybe not the next thing, but they're coming. But having resources where you can get it is wonderful. So let me know down below or as a private message. If you don't want to post a comment for everyone to read, you don't have to. You can go to, you can email me directly at Travis at AdventureFrontier.com. You can go to uh, NWAPrepper.com. And all of my social media stuff is at the top. You can scroll down on that main page and there's a contact form. Just fill it in and say, Joe Schmuckatelli, here's my email address. Hey, I think you look silly in a blue shirt or whatever you want to put and then send it. And it comes directly to my cell phone. I like your feedback. Um, I, I, try to like every comment uh, and if they're if I don't think they're negative then I like and heart them both um, if, if they if I don't necessarily agree with them I still like the comment because you took the time to comment and it makes me think and unless they're just brutal then I, I do that Nobody wanted to see me sneeze. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you can get a hold of me. You can, man, I'm on all kinds of social media from Instagram and TikTok, Facebook, um, Patreon, uh, what a Twitter. I, I try to do them all. Um, most of my Instagram posts start in TikTok because TikTok I can make them, edit them and share them and it goes straight to Instagram and then my Instagram ones go straight to Facebook and straight to Twitter um, with minimal effort and which means I'm more likely to post more um, however each platform has posts that I don't make on the others except for Twitter, I'm not much of a Twitter guy, it's there but it just 
spits out what I do on other platforms. So get in hold with me. Let me know what you think about good old honey and what you do with it. And if you're a beekeeper, uh, man, I just share anything you'd like to share. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for helping the channel grow. Let's get ready.